CNBC TV 18, embarking on a quarter century of excellence. Hello and welcome to the CNBC TV 18 Mumbai newsroom. I'm Ekta Batra and you're watching Your Stocks this Friday afternoon. Well, joining us today, we have Asta Jain, Research Analyst at HEM Securities and Vaishali Parik, Head of Tech Research at Prabhudas Leela Dar to answer all of your queries in the next 30 odd min minutes. Uh, so it's a complete uh, women's powerhouse this afternoon. Asta as well as Vaishali, welcome to the show. Well, Vaishali, you know, before we start, um, just a hygiene question with regards to what you are seeing in terms of the technicals of the market, considering that, uh, you know, we it's been a great week for us. But what's really stood out is uh, also the IT index. Very good afternoon, ladies. Yes, thanks for having me. It has been a celebration all along in the market. So, well, uh, Nifty, we saw a decisive move about 21,000. Uh, 200 levels, which was the resistance all this while. So now we are looking at uh, 21,500. And of course, yesterday, since two, three days, we've been seeing that there was some run up coming in the IT index. And yesterday, we had brought it uh, to the notice of our clients because it had given a breakout on the weekly chart. So, yes, IT index is on a takeoff. And I think there is still a lot of upside potential left. This is just the beginning. So I'm quite bullish on the IT sector. Okay, all right. So that's on the IT space. Let's get to some questions now. We have Puneet Saxena who writes to us from Pune. He holds 450 shares of Tata Power, which he's bought at around 294 rupees. He's a long-term investor and wants to know what to do, whether he can hold his shares for another three to four years. So uh, this uh, is a long-term holding in terms of a question. And, uh, you know, the person sitting on a profit at this point in time, his buy price was 294. So Asta, I'm going to toss this over to you. What do you think Puneet should do? Uh, should he hold on further for the next three to four years? Uh, hi, uh, good afternoon to all of out there. So, uh, yes, for the Tata Power, yes, uh, it's a hold. Uh, uh, from the long term perspective, it's a definite hold. And, and in fact, in the short term, also, what I believe that this stock is poised for a strong run. So, first of all, want to give the targets. The initial targets can be set at somewhere around 350 to 355 odd levels. So talking about this counter, yes, we all know that uh, industry tailwinds are high and uh, this company is really enjoying that ride also. Uh, looking after the fundamentals, financials also, I think the financial performance was quite satisfactory in the quarter gone by. And going ahead also, we are expecting this counter to post strong performance ahead. So I think from both the I mean, uh, long term as well as short term, I think this stock is looking uh, the, uh, a strong, uh, uh, I should say, candidate. So definitely a hold from my side with a price target of 355 at the initial level. Okay, all right. Well, Vaishali, any view uh, with regards to Tata Power? It's been a good performer. I do agree with um, Asta because all this while power stocks have been the flavor of the stock market right now. So it is already in a trend. So technically, I would to say that yes, 320 acts as a near-term support. And once we see a, a breach of 343.42, well, the next target that we foresee is 360 to 380. Okay, all right. Uh, well, let's get to another question now. We have Lakshmi MK who writes to us from Karnataka, holds 15 shares of LIC, which she was allotted through the IPO at 889 odd rupees. Again, long-term investor wants to know the future prospects of her particular investment. Currently, she's sitting on a loss. Um, she's, you know, the current market price is 798 and she's sitting on a loss as we speak. Well, um, Asta, again, a long-term question in terms of holding. What would you recommend on LIC? Hold on. Although the quarter gone by, the results were muted, but what I think that this uh, strong leadership position is there. They have a strong uh, sales agency force with them. And uh, I mean, brand equity is also high. And the way they are settling, I mean, the claims, so they have a robust claim settlement ratio also. So looking after all these things, I think, and uh, now they are focusing basically on high margin products also. So, I mean, I think it's, uh, uh, I, it should show a strong momentum going ahead and I recommend to hold this counter. Initial price target can be set at around 915 to 920 odd levels. Okay, all right. And Vaishali, would you concur? So uh, technically, I would say, of course, it's in a very strong uptrend. So, but the stock has rallied right from 600 levels to a near-term high of 820. So there could be some consolidation. The view 
holds true as long as 760 levels are uh, acting as a good support. And from there on, my view is that it is on a bullish because even when I'm seeing the weekly chart, in all likelihood, we can even test above 950 levels. So yes, the view for long term is positive. But if you are seeing a short term strategy, 760 holds as a crucial support. Okay, all right, 760 holds as a crucial uh, support in the near term. That's the word coming in on LIC. Let's get in another query now. We have Suresh who writes to us from Bhopal. He holds 250 shares of uh, Gujarat Street State Petronet or GSPL, uh, which he's bought. So he's sitting on a good profit on that one. Uh, he wants to know whether to book money off the table or to stay invested. Well, what would you recommend on this one, Vaishali? Because sitting on a profit at this point in time, do you see further upside on GSPL from these levels? So GSPL is a very healthy uh, chart, but yes, partial profit should not be ruled out because once the stock gets into new round of momentum, I think that will be only about 305. So if he has patience, should continue holding because they, on a weekly chart, I'm looking at a breakout about 305 for a target of around 360 or so. So if it's a near term perspective, partial profit should be considered. Okay, all right. Well, um, on the fundamentals, uh, Asta, what would you, you know, uh, uh, view GSPL as? Because just a couple of months ago, there was a note from a brokerage which had indicated that, you know, volume growth will remain muted for the next three years. Uh, what is your view? Do you think that uh, there could be some amount of support coming in on the fundamentals? Uh, although maybe the volume growth remain muted, but what I can see is that, uh, I mean, there is a, a lot of availability of LNG facility in the Gujarat itself, and there is a lot of demand in the Gujarat it itself due to the, I think, low cost, uh, I should say, a phenomena here. So I don't think that, uh, I mean, uh, it's a candidate to just book out the profit at this moment of a time. So I recommend continue to hold this stock. So my idea is uh, continue to hold this stock. All right. Uh, the recommendation is to continue holding on to GSPL. Let's get in another question now. We have Nimish who writes to us from Mumbai. He holds 2,000 shares which he's bought of NCC at 140 rupees. So sitting on a profit there, he wants to know what to do, whether he should uh, book profits or whether he should continue to remain invested. We don't have a timeline in terms of how much or how, how much longer he would like to re remain invested. But nonetheless, um, you know, it's shown great returns, this particular stock. Um, do you think, uh, Vaishali, it would just be prudent to take some money off the table considering that he would be sitting on such a big profit, the stock has run up quite significantly? I would say the stock, I mean, the trend is pretty much intact. And if I'm seeing that since there's no time limit, uh, when I'm looking at the monthly chart, still there is a lot of upside scope. So we are looking at a target of, uh, from here on also, a uh, target of 200 to 220 levels. So continue holding. But well, uh, I would say, in fact, it's worth adding at every dip. If market is going to be a choppy uh, move from here on, well, 150 would act as a support. And that should be the level when if he wants to, he can even add on further because longer term perspective, we are looking at a target of 200 to 220. Okay, all right. So that's the view coming in on NCC. Uh, well, would you have a view on this uh, particular stock, uh, Asta? Yes, sure. So talking about NCC, yes, it has already shown strong momentum and the reason behind it is a strong order book because their order book is around 51,400 crore, which is almost 3x of whatever revenues they have posted in FY23. So strong uh, revenue visibility is there. So, I mean, that is one of the reasons. And in fact, management has uh, guided for the strong uh, growth uh, going ahead also, around 20% growth. In fact, they are expecting the margins to pick up also, so I think uh, on all the uh, fronts, it is looking very strong counter. So I recommend hold on this. Uh, price target can be set at around 215 to 220, uh, which Vaishali has also given. Okay, all right. Well, it's going very well for the markets because 21,342 is currently where the Nifty is at, um, up around 157 odd points. You really can't look at only today's gains in terms of the markets. You've got to look at what happened on a week-to-date basis. The Nifty's put on around 1.76%. On a month-to-date basis, the Nifty's rallied close to around 6 odd percent, which is in the month of December. And we have, on a year-to-date basis, the Nifty sitting with a gain of close to around 18 odd percent. So 
that's the kind of momentum that we've seen for our markets. The mid-cap index, as we speak, is up 44% now on a year-to-date basis, along with a rally of around 2.6% this week. So outperforming the, the Nifty um, hands down, not only on a year-to-date basis, but on a week-to-date basis. I just want to revisit the entire IT space because the Nifty IT index is the other index which has really shown a lot of momentum. It's up around 6.4% on a week-to-date basis. And just want to reiterate, it's at a multi-month high in terms of the Nifty IT index. If we talk about specific stocks, um, you know, we are seeing follow-on momentum and buying coming in in HCL Tech, which is up around 4.8%. We have it on on a week-to-date basis, which has gained around 8.7%. We have Infosys, which is up around 4 odd percent. Following that is TCS, TechM, all of these stocks gaining anywhere between 35 to 4 odd percent at this point in time. So that's really where a lot of the interest is coming in in today's trading session and has been for the entire week because all of these stocks have gained anywhere between 5 to close to 9 odd percent just in this week's trade. Well, Asta, you know, I didn't ask you about the fundamentals of the IT space. So I'm just going to toss that over to you. Uh, Would you be a buyer now, considering that the Fed would be easing rates uh, going into next year, and hence maybe budgets would probably be easing up? Uh, Yes, uh, because we all know that IT sector is directly correlated to whatever is happening in the U.S. economy, especially to the GDP over there, as well as the uh, other economic factors. So, yes, uh, and especially the mid-sector IT companies are looking very strong. So, I think there's still uh, uh, some scope for the IT companies to move ahead from here also. And especially we are very much positive on the mid-IT companies, mid-sector IT companies, in which Tech Mahindra is there, then LTI Mind Tree is also there. So, yes. IT sector is looking strong too, especially uh, mid-IT companies are looking very much strong. Okay. And what about a stock such as IREDA, considering that, uh, you know, after a continuous up move from the time it listed, it's now seeing profit booking. It's down around 9-odd percent, but, you know, still rallied from those levels of around, what, 30, 35-odd rupees. So uh, give us a sense in terms of what your uh, view is on IREDA. And whether you would be a buyer uh, at current levels. Yes. So it was a subscribe when the issue came and the main USP because uh, what happened in NBFC, Ekta, there is no major USP because all the NBFC have to run on the same line due to the high regulation. But here there was one differentiating point and I think that was most liked by the markets and that it was a green financing NBFCs which are totally into, you know, uh, the projects which are uh, totally towards the, you know, uh, climate mitigation, risk mitigations, etc. Uh, so I think that was the main point that was liked by the market. And uh, in fact, uh, the price to book multiple at which it came with the IPO was also reasonable. But now uh, this counter has moved like anything. So now what we are recommending to our clients is that if they have the stock in their portfolio, then remain invested, but don't enter into the stock at this current level. Let the financial results come and then only see the stock because it has already risen uh, so much that it will be a riskier bet if they enter at this point of a time. Okay, all right. So that's the view coming in um, on IREDA. Otherwise, it's a very lively market in today's uh, trading session. We have Aether, which is up around 7.7%. From the broader market IT stocks, we have KPIT Tech, which has rallied around 3.6%. And a couple of others, uh, such as Delta Corp, which is showing some amount of traction. Remember, that stock is down 33% year to date. Uh, because of the news flow, but nonetheless, that stock is showing some amount of gains today, up around 2 odd percent. We'll take a short break, answer more queries on the other side. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Uh, you're still tuned into your stocks this afternoon. Well, we still have with us Asta Jen and Vaishali Parikh to answer all of your questions. Let's get in a couple of more. Um, well, um, we have Rajiv who writes to us from New Delhi. He holds 20 shares of State Bank of India, which he's bought at 160 odd rupees. So he's sitting on a profit. He wants to know what to do, whether to remain invested or to sell his holdings. Well, uh, you know, uh, Asta, I was just looking at SBI in terms of her performance as compared to it's a couple of its um, non-nifty 
PSU payers. There's been an underperformance for State Bank of India this year as compared to them. On a year-to-date basis, it's rallied around 4-odd percent. A couple of the smaller banks, I'm sure, because of a valuation catch-up, have rallied much more. But do you think that next year might be the time where we could see maybe some amount of upside for State Bank of India? And hence, maybe it should probably be prudent to hold on? Yes, uh, because I think first of all, uh, the subsidiaries will gonna uh, be adding some value to the um, uh, bank basically. And uh, what we are expecting going ahead is the uh, strong CGR growth in their net profit. In fact, uh, ROE and ROE, we are expecting it to improve at a significant level. Especially if I talk about ROE, it should be somewhere at around 17% from FY25 uh, earnings perspective. I'm talking about an ROE to improve to 1.1%. So uh, from the future outlook, basis we are positive on this counter and that's why i recommend hold on the stock price target can be set at around 665 to 670 levels okay all right got it and vaishali what would uh, would you concur i definitely agree so in fact today itself i mean it was much awaited and it did give a breakout about 620 levels today so we are seeing already a spot coming in for 640 but i would say that yes the next projected target like how you asked for the coming year I won't be surprised if the stock goes towards 700, 720 levels also. So I think it is for the long term pretty bullish because rightly said, underperform and now ready for a takeoff. Okay, all right. So that's the view coming in on State Bank of India. Uh, let's get to another query now. Shalini writes to us from Pune. She holds 10 shares of Paytm, which she's bought at around 620 odd rupees. So she's sitting on a bit of a loss. She wants to know what to do. What is uh, the future prospect of this particular investment? Well, year-to-date, it's given returns of around 13-odd percent. But, um, Vaishali, do you think that there could be further upside and maybe, you know, it could at least get to the buy price? And if it does, then what would you suggest? So, I would say, first of all, of course, it's in a very strong downtrend. There has been decent correction taken place. But all the same, uh, it's also uh, quite oversold. So, technical bounce back can be expected to her uh, buy price and perhaps even higher, about three, uh, 650 levels. So once we see uh, the stock moving about three uh, 650 levels, can we say that, yes, it's ready for a further up move towards 700 to uh, 750. So I would take it uh, step by step. Okay, all right. Well, we have Ritu Kapoor who writes to us from Mumbai. She holds 25 shares of Zomato at 120 and she wants to know what to do, whether to stay invested and or exit and look elsewhere. Well, you know, I'm going to club both together, Paytm as well as Zomato. Uh, Asta, if you could give your view on both of them. So for Paytm, I think the street is quite, uh, you know, uh, concerned about the asset quality metrics. Although in their management meet also, they have uh, told that they have scale, uh, scaled down their post-paid business in order to just, uh, uh, you know, uh, reduce these asset quality metrics, uh, you know, concerns. But we really need to see how the results will come. And that's why I think right now it's better uh, not to uh, make a fresh entry. But yes, if uh, anyone has invested, then uh, they can continue their investment. But uh, we really need to look upon the financial results, which they will be posting within a month time period, I suppose. This is, I'm talking about uh, the quarter four earnings, basically. So let's see that. And uh, sorry, quarter three earnings. Uh, so let's see that and then only decide right now, hold the stock. Talking about Zomato, Zomato is looking good to us and we are recommending the price target of around 150 at the present level. So there, all the business verticals are doing very strongly. And I think this counter is uh, still looking strong to us. So with the price target of 150, uh, one can remain invested in the counter. Okay, all right, Astha, as well as Vaishali, thanks very much for joining in and taking us through all of those queries and uh, wish you a good weekend as well. That's all the time that we have on the show, but do remember to email us all of your queries and we will address them with our experts. Stay tuned. Our closing bell will take you through the last hour of trade for the week. on a quarter.